Welcome to Switch It Up. I am going to switch things up on you today. Sheila is inside dealing with some stuff that we need to get taken care of. And I was perusing through some RV platforms on Facebook and somebody sent out a question, how can we revive our decals on our RV? And they were asking all these different things on, can we order new decals? And they were faded and all these other things. And I got to thinking, I was like, I, I, I can help. I can help. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. I'm going to take these areas that are black and change them to green and revive this little area up here. But even though our rig is new, this will help anyone out there that's buying an older rig and want to do a little, little color change or, or get it up to date. Whatever you want to do, that's what this video is about. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's roll the intro and come back to it. All right, so first things first. It's hot out here. It's like uh, gonna be 99 today. It's mid morning and the sunlight's not gonna be real great, but I thought this would be a great way to at least be on the shaded side and explain how this process works. And this may actually save you a lot of time, frustration, even if it's not like you wanna do all of the different things on the rig, you just want to maybe give a splash of color or you wanna change something up, things that are black, and they're all faded, you wanna do a glossier black, this gives you that ability. So what are you gonna need? I am not one, disclaimer, I am not a guru when it comes to doing wraps. I just learned through watching some other YouTube videos and then I figured out what works on a rig. So uh, this will be, if I can do it, anyone can. When we first started this journey, these big huge areas I tried to do and they didn't work out so well for your boy Todd. I messed it up, I couldn't get around the speakers, and so we ended up having a wrap company come out and meet with us, and then they helped do the install, but we had already purchased all the wrap material and the colors and things like that. So let's start with some basics, just so you know. So if your rig is older, even if it's newer, the, the decal that's on here is just a vinyl decal. A lot of them, if you want to remove them, just get a heat gun, hit them real quick with some heat, and then just start pulling off the um, material. It's not hard. Uh, we removed a majority of all our Grand Design stickers and just because we wanted to do something different. And so you can start by there. Now, if it's an older rig, it's faded. You can try to remove them, but unfortunately a lot of times if they've been on a very long time, the wrap material is not gonna come off real easy. So you just have to be aware that you might have to be, be patient. Or you can leave the stickers on, which I'm gonna show you now, and use them as a template because some of the descriptions that I was reading through on this post, they were talking about, well, you can go here to buy the new um, decals, the new stickers, whatever you wanna call them, and you can go here um, to check this out. This is not buying anything because a lot of times the rigs that you're talking about are way older than what the decals are now being made. So you're kind of at a loss and you don't necessarily want to try to paint this. This would, that would be a horrible decision. So this may be the alternative that you were looking for and I couldn't really find anyone talking about it. So I'm going to share with you how I've been doing it bit by bit along the way. So what, am I, what do you start with is, is that you just take the decals that are already here and generally I wash first make sure that the surface clean. And then I come back with some just generally rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. And then I go over and clean this sticker and come out about, I don't know, a good five to six inches all the way around it. And I generally do this step two times. You don't want any contaminants and you want that as clean as possible when you go through the effort to start applying. Next up. I went online and I got this wonderful little bag. You can look on Amazon and just look for wrap toolkits, I guess. And it comes with all these little nifty tools and plastic gadgets and some knives and some um, X-Acto knives that can help cut the wrap. Uh, 
these are great I mean you got to have squeegees to push everything down and hold it in place and some of them come with some nylon on the end of it some of them are just a hard plastic in any case you're gonna have to use some tools this whole toolkit I think was like 15 20 bucks it wasn't anything atrocious the next thing you're gonna need is a heat gun and the heat guns run around 20 to 25 dollars and you'll use the heat gun for a variety of different things in the RV life but in the wrapping you're gonna need them to hit them with some heat so it gets that glue to really adhere at the very end so that's what I use that for plus you use it for shrinking and all kinds of stuff but in most of our situations if you're in the RV life you're dealing with the flat surface with stickers in different areas and they're they're actually really easy to deal especially since you're not pulling them off you're gonna overlay over the top of them which I'll show here in a minute next thing you're gonna really need and this is probably the most important is because none I am not and I imagine you watching this video you're not a professional wrapping person you're gonna to need to get something that is called like wrap cut or it's going to be like a fine filament um, edge cutting tape is what it's called and what it is is it's actually a piece of it's a fine piece of tape this one fell on the ground it's a fine piece of tape and you can see a yellow streak in there I don't know if that shows up in the camera real well that's actually a piece of string so the string is actually adhered to the sticky side of the tape you will place it wherever you have your decal currently and you go around the edges and I'll explain why I did that here in a second but go around the edges and you leave some on the outside this is going to be used to basically cut and you're not gonna have to use a knife this is without it's, it's like a knifeless tape um, to put your your new wrap on now your wrap you can go on Amazon anywhere this is actually a 3m wrap um, this is the color for switch it up on our rig it has the series and it tells you 3m we used vivid uh, which is a wrap on the bottom of our rig which is a flat matte black so there's many different wrap companies the reason different wraps do better than others is because they actually are porous and they let air through so if you get if you get bubbles You'll be able to push those bubbles out and so that allows it to lay down flat and it also comes down to the adhesive that's on the wraps and a lot of times they'll go on but they pull off real easy as well hopefully this is crossing off some items and questions in your mind on how this works i know this is really serious for me this is a very odd video it's like i'm becoming educational all of a sudden i don't i don't know so let's <laughs> let's talk about how i'm setting everything up before i put any of this on shall we Okay, I don't necessarily think that I need to share with you how to clean. I don't think that step, I think it's pretty self-explanatory to clean everything off and then use isopropyl alcohol to make sure your surface is clean. I think you pretty much got that. Now you're looking at all this red on here and this red is actually that fine filament tape. And the reason I like this idea is, is that instead of removing these areas, I removed the areas that I didn't like but I like the lines on the momentum in certain slants. So I decided to use these as the template and they call that embossing in the wrap world. So when you use the previous sticker that's here, it can show through and have this kind of cool effect. Let me show you. Back here, you'll see, I don't know if this will show up real well. You can see this is the original sticker that's under here. You can see the line. In the sunlight, it's kind of got this cool look even though this is green, but the old sticker decal is underneath it. So that would be called embossing, where we made a new line, but then you have the old lines underneath it. Now we removed the other ones, but we left some so it can have this cool effect. Now, if you're just doing areas for a splash of color, or if you're just trying to revive decals that are you know, faded and crappy, and you just want it to look better, and you have an afternoon, you can do two or three lines at a time. This is something I, you don't have to tackle all at once. That's what I've been doing, is just I just kind of wrap some things, like I did the little areas on the front of the rig and stuff, when I have time to do it. And so in this time, while I was doing it, I thought I'd share with you my process. So I use the decals that are already here as the template. And as you look, I put the tape, the fine filament tape, and I go and I leave just a little bit of sliver of white. And when I pull the string, the string will come out, but then this tape that will still be here will be underneath the vinyl. And since it's made out of a material that doesn't stick real well to vinyl, you'd be able to remove that as well, and then you can actually push it down. If you look, I've made my lines, I've crisscrossed, 
you leave out about three to five inches on the end because you're going to want to be able to pull the string out of it while the vinyl is laying down so you need to have a little excess going on so you can get to the string and then the key part to this is that you have to go opposite to the way you put your lines on meaning because everything's on top of another and you have to pull the string and this is the hardest thing for me to understand is that I may have put this line in first and I completed it down here and then that line runs out well then I did this line here and it comes over the top so I would have to pull this top string first before I can pull this bottom string this is important because if you don't do it this way and you're trying to pull your lines at the end it's going to be a pain in the butt then I actually laid this next line as my third line and it goes all the way up to the window so after I put on the vinyl and I get it all adhered down and it's going to overlap I'm going to start with the string here and I'm going to pull this string all the way down then after because it's on top of this then I pull this string because it's on top of this and then lastly I pull this string all the way across you have to go opposite the way you install the tape at the end to, to, to really not drive yourself insane um, on the process I wish I could say it was harder the next steps will be actually installing the vinyl itself and um, I'll show you how I do that areas up here it's not real difficult you apply your vinyl in a small piece you make sure you overlay it and then I don't do tape around here because that has silicone so I try to push it up in there and then I cut around the window and then I pull the tape okay ready to get started ready to put some vinyl on up to this point this step that everything that you've seen has taken me about 35 to 45 minutes um, and that's without shooting video that was just me cleaning everything off putting the tape on cutting and making sure all my lines are good and then making sure that this is pushed down really good so it doesn't come off when I put the vinyl on so let's get some vinyl on here and show you how it all comes together all right so I cut off a little piece of vinyl and um, this is probably gonna be the most challenging spot because it's the smallest area so we have a little triangle here it comes underneath the window ends right here and usually I try to just use as little as vinyl as possible honestly the bigger areas like down here is actually an easier area to do uh, because it's just a long a long process but I thought if I'm gonna try to start something and show you guys uh, I think this would be a good place to start so let me get to work on this and uh, if anything pops up in my head to share with you, I will along the way. Just fine to uh, share with you how this works first. One thing about vinyl, it is very thin and it is very forgiving. So you can be able to move it around. That's the benefit of having a higher dollar vinyl than using something that might be cheaper. You might find it at a Walmart or something. That's why you want to use like the 3Ms or the Vivids. So I have this space done. It's a little windy, so got some challenge going, but uh, and I'm just going to overlap it 100% on everything and make sure that I don't overlap my crisscrosses. I want to make sure to have access to them. I didn't go over far enough, but as you can see, it's easy to, if you need to reposition when you first start, you can. There we go. So I usually try to tack it just so I can get a feel of where it's going to try to lay. And then I grab a squeegee. There's no reason to try to force it. You just want to try to get it to lay down as flat as it can. And since I am dealing with around a window, um, it poses a little challenge versus just doing a big flat area. So I found my curve of the window first, and then I kind of push up towards the window and keep the, the vinyl loose and then I kind of work down from the window. From here, as you can see, I haven't attached it all because my line, you can see the line. Since it's so thin, you can see where the tape is. So I know where that is. So I don't need all of this extra. I want to make sure to have access to my underneath line. So I try to go ahead and cut off the extra excessiveness. I try to save little pieces when I can because you don't know if you're going to have to use it for a little repair area or not. So, if you come in close, you can see here's my line for my tape. And then here's this line from this tape. And then up here is a line for tape. You can see how it all overlaps. 
I have this, I'll relief cut that to try to get this to lay down a little bit better. And then after that's relief cut, then we'll try to really form it up. You don't have to push real hard. Since it's so thin, it's not hard to work with. We're going to try to separate. Then once it gets started, it actually comes from underneath the tape itself. So both the pieces now have uh, finished. So like this all now has all been redone. See, so I can now pull this straight edge off. I can pull this edge off because that's all cut. Now, in some of the instances, the tape, depending on how you put it on, Sometimes it comes off when you pull this. Sometimes it's stuck underneath the edge. But since this tape is designed not to have like a true adhesive, you just hook onto this and you pull down at an angle. It will pull from underneath the wrap itself and release. Once that's done, you come back and you just flush out that edge. If things get a little wonky right here, you just take a straight knife like I'll do here in a second and clean up the edges. Since the original decal is underneath, I can use that to, for my edge. And then from here, I'll go and I'll trim this all up right here. And I'll just follow the line of the window. And that's how you do it. Now, you're asking, well, that's silicone around here where this comes in. It doesn't like to stick on it. So the bad part is on an RV, you're going to have to put a clear silicone, or depending on what's there, you might use a black silicone, but I try to seal the edges around that area. So now we'll go through and we'll finish up this and doing this area down here. that there is all finished. Now I have some things I need to wrap up like up here I have to clean up that edge and put silicone, silicone around here and just clean everything up but you get the idea. The bad part for me is see I did these little front areas a while back. I still get to do this side. <laughs> but it gives you a pretty good idea of just things that you can change. Those little bitty things that you can change on your rig yourself to bring it up to something that you really enjoy because after all, it is your RV and you should just go ahead and personalize a little bit. And I like the idea of buying something old and then revamping it and making it your own. So I think learning how to do little nuances like this can really customize some stuff. And on top of that, what do you have? Some vinyl, maybe an hour and a half's worth of time and you kind of go from there. So until next time, switch it up do all the things like comment subscribe i look forward to sharing with you more later on some interior improvements that we had just finished up as well with all that being said we are out